Hey guys, Kyle from PureHockey.com here. Today I am checking out the new Easton Mako 2 skate. Um, I'm personally really excited about this skate. I'm still wearing the original Makos. Uh, I had a great experience with them, still love wearing them, and uh, still since, God, probably coming on a year and a half now, I've been wearing those. So what they did this year is, the first thing is obvious, they made these a little bit more friendly on the eyes. Uh, you can see they got rid of some of the orange and um, shifted to the black carbon on the bottom. So not quite so much of that orange on the sides that really I think turned some people off, but still a great looking skate. Um, the second big thing they did, nice big foam tongue. Um, it's a lot thicker than the original one. It's a lot softer. As soon as you touch it, you can really tell how padded it is, how soft it is, and how you know good it's gonna feel. Um, thing with the original Makos is I didn't really have a problem with um, with the tongue, but the way the skate is designed is to flex a little bit more. So you're putting a little bit more pressure on that tongue on the felt. So there are some people who kind of um, got a little bit more of that, that irritation because the tongue wasn't necessarily as thick as it um, possibly could have been. And because you're putting so much weight and so much pressure on the back of the tongue, uh, it irritated some people. Uh, new liner on the inside of the skate is designed to wick moisture and, and drain that a little bit better so you're going to stay a little bit drier, a little bit cooler throughout the course of the game. Um, same CXN holder, uh, it is designed to let you feel the ice um, throughout the whole game. You're really up on your, up on your toes, getting down, pushing out, uh, and creating some downforce and creating some power. Same extended, extendable tendon guard uh, lets you really extend the stride out, still is protecting you so you don't catch a skate or anything like that, but it really lets you fully push your stride out and generate all the power that you can. Um, inside the new Mako is the new Ortholite uh, footbed, which is a triple density footbed, so you're gonna have a little bit more support, uh, but it's still going to be uh, that similar feeling to the original Mako where you do feel very connected to the ice. You're not kind of jumped up, but you can really get a good feel of what's going on in your feet and it helps you react to what's going on around you. Uh, just like the original Mako, the Mako 2 is designed around what Easton calls the physics of speed. The physics of speed is basically just taking uh, the mechanics of a proper stride and building a skate that desi is designed to do that. Um, proper downforce where you're pushing out and you're really generating all the power you can. Um, what they call push direction, which is this asymmetrical um, up on the top of the quarter up on the top of the quarters of the boot, which is going to help you in turns, help you in pushing off stops, stops and starts, and uh, really align yourself so you can get that proper stop, start, turn, push, um, and then tempo by allowing you to properly push and properly flex the skate and push all the way out, it's gonna help you create a proper stride, generate more power. Um, so that is the Mako 2 skate from Easton. Uh, check it out at purehockey.com and at all pure hockey stores.